In modern war, you will die like a dog for no good reason. Okay. Hey everyone, Sky from the Jiminar's channel, and welcome to This War of Mine. Um, I know I've seen this series, or I've seen other people play this game on YouTube, but in all honesty, I remember next to nothing about it, so I don't know what to expect. Um, I guess go with that. Okay, this is a little loud for me in my headphones. I don't know how it's going to sound in the video. I should probably stop and check. Yeah, I'm going to go stop and check. Okay, the audio seems fine. I've turned it down a little bit on my end. I don't know if that'll make it quieter in the video. But, yeah. Anyways, yeah, let's uh, survive, I guess. Again, I don't know what the hell to expect. I know I've seen this game before, so I should have an idea of what it is, but I don't freaking remember anything about it, so... I don't know. I know it's a survival game, that's the one thing I do remember. But beyond that, I have no idea. Day one. Okay. Why am I only at seven freaking frames? Oh my god, why am I at seven frames? Okay. When the Civil War broke out, many people thought it would only last a couple of weeks. It's been years since government military surrounded the rebels in the capital, cutting off all supply lines. The civilian population trapped in the city are suffering from hunger, disease, and shelling. Kadia, Kadia, I don't know how you say that. Uh, Kadia met both Pavel and Bruno before the war. She used to be a reporter while Bruno had his own television cooking show. Pavel was the star of the local football team. Katia even interviewed him once. Uh, now they meet in dramatically different circumstances, looking for food and shelter. Okay. Um, are there settings I can mess with to, uh... Okay, make that lower so that my frame rate's not dying. Um... The temperature scales in Celsius, I like that. Apply. Okay, that did a thing. For some reason, changing the settings crashed the game. I have no idea why, but I've uh, gone back in and changed the setting off screen. Hopefully now it won't crash. Anyway, my frame rate is a little bit higher. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now that I'm actually seeing it, I think I'm remembering a little bit more about it. Um, if memory serves, I think I have to command these people, let, help them survive, occasionally send people off to go scavenge for resources? Beyond that, I don't really know. Okay, now I'm back down to 9 frames. Fucking hell. Okay, so this series is probably going to be a little jittery because, um... Yeah. I already read that. Okay, I move the camera around with the mouse. Good to know. I don't feel so well. I think I have shivers. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's a disease. You're a fast runner. You're a cook. And you're a bargainer. Okay. Great. Um... What am I supposed to do? Where are you going? What are you doing? Oh. I, oh, that door's blocked off. Okay. I was like, why don't you just go through the frickin' door, you weirdo? No, I guess you can't. Uh, I have no things, apparently. I should have more things. I don't know what materials are useful yet, so... I'm gonna do my usual tactic in games like this and just grab everything. <laughs> wait. Uh, no wait, go here first. See what that is. 
Do I not control these other two people? Or do I have to click on them to do stuff? Yes, I do. Okay. Again, sorry if the frame rate is bothersome. I can't seem to do anything more about it, apparently. Wait, you said it's warm. It's only 17 degrees. I guess it's not freezing, but... Eh. Okay, that is taking forever to search through. Okay, while you guys do that, I'm going to tell this person to go do a thing. Um, you can go up here and look through this shit. Was that a bomb? I thought it said the war was in the past. Is it still going on? Because I swear that was a bomb I just heard. Or at least a very loud thuddy noise. Thuddy noise, very descriptive, Sky. Did I do my intro? I don't freaking know! Man, I'm on something today. Uh, what are you? I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna take you. Uh, exit that. Oh my god, you two are still doing that. Searching through the rubble. There better be shit in there. If I've just wasted my time doing this, I'm going to be upset. Okay, and the time is not the real time, apparently. So, that's great. Oh. Is that just a way to clear a path? God damn it, I hope it's not. Okay, you know what? Go look through that, uh, desk thing. I seriously have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Is this my home? Or am I just looking through stuff here? My new home, I mean. Because if we're survivors, we could have just walked into here and we're claiming it now. Okay, that was just a pile of rubble to, uh, move through. Wait, what the fuck? Uh, okay. Take all that. that. That was you. Okay. Um, you go search through there. You. Um. I don't know what I'm doing. Take all that. No. I hate it when camera forcibly pans. Unless that was something I did. By accident. Yeah. Any game which has the camera forced into one position or automatically pans it towards something, most of the time I absolutely hate that shit. It's like, let me control the camera. Unless if it's like some cinematic thing you're supposed to look towards. Like, um, I can't think of any examples, but yeah, most of the times I just hate it when shit forces you to look at something. This is my home. Can I do anything? Okay, I have shit. That's great. Uh, some thoughts. Our shelter is depressingly... Ugh. Our shelter is one depressingly ug ugly ruin. We should do something about it. We only have one chair, we lack beds, and we have to sleep on the floor. It's hard to get a good night's sleep on hard, cold concrete, and the condition of those who are sick or, or wounded may drastically worsen. We don't have a radio. We don't know what's going on in the city. We really miss books. A good book could help us forget the horrors of war. Staying here is slightly better than living on the streets. We lack coffee and cigarettes. Okay. 
We have breaches in the walls, our shelter is not safe, and we have to constantly be on guard. Okay, I guess this is my shelter. What can I do about it? I guess I'll have the uh, cook guy go down here and see what this bench thing is. Where are you going? What are you doing? Close that. No. No. You come back in here. Okay. The camera panning. No. Stop. Okay, this is how I make things, apparently. This is a workbench. Um, I said I don't have beds, so I should make some of those. Uh, oh, I can move you. Okay, I should have one area be the sleeping area, I feel. Um, I guess this bottom place can be the bed area. Um, oh. Oh. I can, I can drag that around. That's, that's great. Okay, um... I mean, I can drag it through the floor. I mean, obviously I can drag it around, otherwise I wouldn't be able to place it. Place there. Okay, while he works on that, I guess I can... Oh, what? Okay. You can build a second bed, that way we'll have two. Assuming I have the supplies for that, because I don't know if I do or not. You can walk a little bit faster, dude. Um... I guess I shall put you right next to the other one. You won't let me put you there. Okay, you're just gonna snap all the way over there. That's great. I love that. That's wonderful. I can end the day. Okay, you, because you're sick, Go sleep. Okay, the bed's done. That's great. And, uh, Kadia is now sleeping. I should probably go ahead and say that I'm absolutely horrible at survival games, especially this type of survival games where you have to uh, manage resources and stuff. I mean, I'm even bad at simple survival games like Minecraft, just because... I don't know. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I'm probably going to die in this series a lot. I don't know. Just because I'm really, really bad at survival games. Uh, end the day? What does that do? Just ends the day? Oh, now it's night. Great. Oh! Oh, this is how I go to places. Um, and, and do things. Okay, um, you're sick, so you're definitely not going. Pavel's a fast runner. I feel like he should go scavenge. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Pavel's gonna go scavenge. Wait, shit. I didn't choose places. Okay, that's our shelter. He could go to the sheltered cottage, the semi-detached house, or the decrepit squat. I'm gonna go to ha I'm gonna have him go to the sheltered cottage just because that's closer. I feel like that's gonna be safer. And will is less likely to result in death and failure. Uh supplies. Lock pick, take those. I'll give him two of those. I don't think these other things are useful to him, because uh, they're materials used to build things, I think. So I can't really do anything else for him there. So, go scavenge. Okay, that crashed again for some reason. Although I think it's because something popped up on my, on my computer. So, I don't think that was the game's fault, that was just because something popped up on my computer. Um... There we go. Oh, I actually control you doing this. Oh, I kind of like that, I can't actually see inside. Okay, um... That's leave. Look through that rubble. Okay, take that stuff. Oh, I only have limited space. Okay, I will have to keep that in mind. Can I move you? I cannot move you? Okay. Look through that. I think I can drop stuff if I have to later. So I'm just going to take whatever I... Oh my god. Maybe I should revise that statement. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to take some of this stuff just because it will probably be useful later for building material. I'll put you in there. Um, okay. Uh, great. Look through the door first. I'm assuming that's what the eye does. Oh, yeah, rat. Okay, go inside. I'm assuming there are probably other people. Maybe not specifically in this house, but I'm assuming in the game there are other people I'll have to be wary of. Um, oh, a teddy bear. Okay. Food, definitely useful. Definitely want that. Take that, take this. Uh, water. Fuck. I don't even know what these cube things are. Sugar, maybe? Why is there a teddy bear on the fridge? Okay. Oh, that's a bed. I probably shouldn't go there. Oh, I'm checking under the bed. Oh. Oh, medicine. That could be useful. Okay, I'm putting some shit in away. Medicine, come here. Great. Okay. Um. Try to head down. That scared me. I don't like how long it takes to look through things. Okay, that's just wood. I don't need that. Is there nothing over here? That's just a... Nothing? Okay. There might be something good in there. I don't know. I'm just gonna go upstairs again. And I'm going to go upstairs again. So, to the up upstairs, I guess. I'm going to go upstairs from the ground floor. <laughs> okay, search through that. I thought I already clicked on that for some reason. Apparently I did not. Um, okay, I can grab some of that stuff as I'm leaving. Uh, just so I make sure I have a full... Uh, thing of supplies. There's no one in here, and it doesn't look like there's anything to search for in there. So I'm not going to worry about it. What? What are those? There was like, circly thi Oh! Are those rats making noise? Is that what those things are? Okay, good to know. Because that means, uh, if there are people... I will know to look out for them. Okay, well, I think I've gotten everything that's good in here, so I'm just going to stock up on some more things like um, the scrap metal and the wood, and then I'm just going to leave. I could probably look in that thing, lockpick it, because uh, there might be something good in there, I don't know. that. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go downstairs and at least try to look. It might break the lock pick and it might be a waste of time, but there might be something good down there, so I don't want to risk it. Risk missing out on it. English. Oh, Jesus, you just blinked. Okay, for some reason that creeped me out a lot. Okay, and because this takes half a century, I'm just going to skip it. Ugh, oh, finally, that took like half a century. Okay, am I going to have to do something for this? No? You're just going to do it? Okay, cool. Um, oh! Good thing I checked in here, because there's good stuff. There's a bottle. Can I put water in the bottle? No? 
Wait, how am I just holding water? Okay, no, 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 no. Take that back. Put you in there. Gunpowder could be useful. Put that in there. Shell casings, that could be useful. Put scrap metal in here. What are you? Herbal meds. Bandages. Um. Okay, put you in here, I guess. Uh. Oh, there's ammo in here. Like, just straight up ammo. Okay, I'm gonna put... What the fuck? Where'd it go? I'm gonna take that, too. Okay. Um. I am very glad I came down here now. In fact, I kind of want to check up here, but there's nothing really up there. At least not that I can tell through the peephole, I guess. So I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to do a leave. Run faster! No! You fucking moron. Now close the door. Thank you. That way no one will know we were here. And leave. A little bit faster. You know, while I'm young, please. Thank you. Pavel is back. Great. I've been recording for 25 minutes already. Goddamn. Day two. All right. Well, I'm going to leave this episode off here. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not subscribe and become my sucker today if you've not done so. And follow the like button. If you want to help support my channel, share this video with a friend so my channel can grow. This is Sky, signing off. Bye. <laughs>